the next step in this quilt making process is to take your half square triangles that you've already made, you've already clipped off the dog ear corners so they look just like this. So you take any two patterns, whichever two patterns you want, and I've already picked two, make two piles. Take one of the piles and make your flying geese, which if you remember what a flying geese is, it looks like that when it's sewn together. So we're gonna take two of these squares and we're gonna make the middle part of the flying geese white for this entire set of squares that we're sewing together. Okay. So we've got this now. So for this entire set, we're gonna make them all look like this. Then we're gonna take the other block and we're gonna make flying geese, but only this time, we're gonna make them out of the printed pattern and not the white. So I'm gonna take those, sew them together, line them up right. Sew them down that one seam, or one edge, I should say. And then you've got a flying geese that's like that. So I'm gonna make this print, this whole stack, look like these, there should be four. Then I'm gonna take this whole stack and I'm gonna make them look like this, and there should be four of these. Then we're gonna take them to the ironing board, we're gonna iron this seam flat on the back, and then we'll come back for the next step. Now that we've picked our two prints that we wanna work on first, and we've put together a one set of the of prints like this and a flying geese with the white on the outside and the other set with the flying geese white on the inside, we're gonna put these together. So you're gonna put them together with the opposite ways. So the white's on the inside here and the dark's on the inside here. So then we're gonna put those two together we're gonna pin the center of that. And then we're gonna pin the outer edges. You don't have to, if you don't wanna pin, don't pin, but it's probably best to pin that middle one to make sure those seams line up. So now we're gonna take it to the machine and we're gonna sew along this side here. One side towards the seam line should be the print. One side on the seam line should be the white. So then when we sew those together, well, here, I'll just show you. Sew our quarter inch seam down the center. Cut our thread. And now we have what looks like this. We're gonna take it to the ironing board let me iron it real quick. If you haven't made one of these little ironing boards we did in our other video, you really need to. This has been wonderful. I don't even have to get up anymore. So anyway, back to this. That's what it's going to look like. So you're going to make all of your squares like this. From both of these prints, there was four of them. And we put them together like this. So by the end of this, we're gonna have, from these sets, we're gonna have four that look identical to this. So let's continue and put them all together. We've got our whole stacks of our half square triangles, blocks, and we're gonna sew them together the same way. Just pick two separate prints, sew them together into the flying geese, white with the center and white on the outside, and then make them like this. And when we come back, I'll show you what to do with all of these. So that is step two of the mystery quilt. I hope y'all are having fun with it. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know. I'm here to help you. And like and subscribe if you haven't already, which I'm sure you have, but you might want to check because if you haven't, now's a good time. And we'll be back for the next part of this quilt. So you guys have a great afternoon. And post pictures along the way in the comments so we can see what they look like. This this kind of quilt, the mystery kind, is 
really fun because everybody starts with different prints, but everybody's making the same thing. So by the end of this, all of these quilts are going to look so different based on the prints that you picked. So it's just fun to see all the differences. So post pictures, let us see where you're at with it, and we'll be back for the next set.